A day after the U.S. Supreme Court overturned affirmative action regarding race as a factor in college admissions, Downtown Boxing Gym in Detroit posted a statement on its Instagram saying in part it will continue to ensure every child has a chance to succeed. Whatever the Supreme Court does, it's not going to hinder our mission as we move towards equity. And if we cannot sort of navigate systems to produce equity by focusing on race as a category, then there are other ways to move towards equity. Deanna Miller is the Foundation Advancement Manager for Downtown Boxing Gym. At DBG, boxing gets kids in the door. But Miller says the organization exposes them to other opportunities for academic, social, and emotional development. The goal is to level the playing field for children who come from lower income neighborhoods in the same way affirmative action was meant to help. We meet so many kids who are just absolutely amazing and they have these um, incredible dreams and goals for themselves. But sometimes it's difficult for them to realize those things because of environmental violence, because of the impacts of poverty, because of school systems that are sort of struggling to support kids um, that need that very hyper individualized care and support. A report by the Brookings Institution says that while the number of young adults with a bachelor degree or higher has doubled to 40% in the past 50 years, there's still a disparity in earning a degree. I want you to take a look at this. The number of black and Hispanic young adults who have earned a degree is much less compared to young adults who are white or of Asian or Pacific Islander descent. Critics of the Supreme Court's decision to ban affirmative action for college admissions, which Michigan voters had already banned in 2006, believe this creates another barrier. But Downtown Boxing Gym believes it's one that can be knocked out. In a number of ways, we are working to sort of expand our influence in different spaces so we can support more folks in uh, communities who are going to be impacted by these federal decisions. We really just want them to find that thing that makes them happy. It's not just about making, the, making sure they get to college, making sure they get a job. It's about making sure they choose the educational pathway that's going to be the best for them. Fighting to provide a better future for Detroit youth who are already facing a number of challenges. Brandon Hudson, Fox 2 News.